All right, showtime. We're beginning to stage. We got the Hulk. We got the Shaman. Uh, extraordinary. The Shaman drove six, seven hours so he can hop on his bike and suffer for eight more hours, which is hilarious and, and dedicated. Um, Hulk is training for a triathlon, so this is certainly going to help. So here we go. Okay, so Michelle was um, impressed by my YouTube channel, which has over a million subscribers. So Michelle, tell us what we're gonna do, or what you're gonna do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And that thing's got no brakes, right? And <laughs> you're not gonna bail, are you? Do it. This gal was incredibly brave. This hill is much steeper than it looks. Just wow. Hey, what's going on everyone? Coming at you to document our yearly spring bicycle century. If you are thinking about doing something like this, you might want to check out this video because the route that we do, I think is one of the safer routes that you can do. Much of it is on a bicycle path. And when we do hit the streets, it's a portion of the PCH that's pretty wide and pretty safe and the scenery is very nice. So I think we started with a party of six and then we just kind of picked up riders as we went and in the end we ended up with about 11 people. And for those of you who are on Strava, I'm going to put a link to the Strava profile of the ride so that you can duplicate it if you want. The route will begin at a park called Encanto Park near Duarte. And then from there we hit the San Gabriel bike path and go south to Seal Beach and then here we hop on the PCH to Newport Beach grab lunch and turn back all told the route spanned about 100 miles moving time was about 6 hours 40 minutes and the total elevation gain was about 1500 feet so nothing super heroish here. I think if you are a bicyclist, I think with a little bit of training, you could do this. If you're wondering about gear, I don't ride anything super fancy. This is a specialized Roubaix and the geometry is kind of built for longer endurance rides rather than racing. Here we are riding on the Santa Fe Dam and I think this section is probably the most scenic and we're about to encounter a section that has the only real elevation change on the entire route. But again, it is steeper than the action cam will relay. At this point, we are probably a party of around 10 and we are working really well together. And if you want to do something like this or any kind of lengthy ride, you want to make sure you are part of a pack to get protection from the wind. It's absolutely critical. At this point, we come across a scene of a tragic double murder suicide. If we had only seen the signs. Around the 35 mile mark, you're going to run into the PCH and it's kind of hard to miss, it's pretty obvious. Here we are on the PCH and as I mentioned, I think it's fairly safe. You have a little bit of shoulder to work with and I think the people here typically are pretty bike aware and are fairly courteous. And by the way, we are passing by Bolsa Chica Beach, which is a great destination for surf perch fishing. This stretch of the PCH has some really nice views and it's a very pretty day. I would say that this stretch of the PCH felt the most exposed, but again, there are so many bicyclists here that the drivers in general are pretty aware and again, 
pretty courteous. Here's part of my lunch. It looked yummy, but it was nasty. I swear the main ingredient was Vicks Vapor Rub. Okay, back on the bike path, heading home. Look at the water in the canal. I've got a beautiful 10 to 15 mile per hour tailwind working for me. And with a good effort, I'm going pretty close to 30 miles per hour. That hill that was so much fun coming down. Not as much fun going up. But we're gonna do it. Keep your eye on the odometer. We're 99.82. I'm really surprised. Well, yeah, I'm a little bit surprised and very jazzed that everyone is gonna be able to complete this entry. Um, very, very benign conditions. Um, low 60s, which is pretty ideal for any kind of endurance ride. On the way back, we had a very kind wind, uh, tailwind going like maybe 10 miles per hour, which helped dramatically. So here we go. Five. Four, three, two, one, and bang, the century mark. All right, and now we can move on to other fun stuff. See y'all soon.